Hi everyone! In today's news spotlight, we'll take a look at the results of the Regional Safety Assessment Study conducted by the Deep Knowledge Group. Let's find out which countries in the Asia-Pacific are ranked the safest in the world during COVID-19. My name is Angeline and this is The Daily Watch. The Deep Knowledge Group has released their latest analytical case study on the safest countries and regions during COVID-19. The ranking is not just about how many infections there are right now or how many deaths COVID-19 has already caused. Rather, it's about a complex series of assessments and multiple medical, economic and political factors. The majority of positively scoring territories in the world are located in Asia-Pacific and the most common factors among them include the presence of governments with a high degree of emergency preparedness and capacity for rapid mobilization of resources. Meanwhile, other countries appear to score well due to a high degree of healthcare modernization as well as cultural and citizen responsibility. Additionally, many Asian countries appear to be nearing the later stages of the pandemic, while for the most part European regions are in the middle or early in the latter half of it. The group's COVID-19 Regional Safety Index divides the regions into four tiers. Tier 1 consists of 20 countries with exceptionally high levels of regional safety. There are nine countries from Asia-Pacific included into Tier 1. Singapore, which is fourth in ranking overall after Switzerland, Germany and Israel, scored 744. Next is Japan, overall fifth in ranking with a total score of 738. China, 7th in overall ranking, has a score of 717. Australia comes in next to China with a score of 716. New Zealand scored 715. South Korea scored 712, rounding up the top 10 rankings globally. Hong Kong comes next with 698 points. Taiwan scored 667. Vietnam, which comes in as top 20 in the world, scored 637. Deep Knowledge Group says they looked at more than 130 parameters and considered more than 11,000 data points from 500 reliable data sources. The report scores each country or region based on the following six categories. Quarantine efficiency, government efficiency of risk management, monitoring and detection, health readiness, regional resilience, emergency preparedness. According to the authors of the report, the point is not so much whether a country has been hit hard by COVID-19 yet or not, although that certainly matters, but also whether there's political will and social acceptance of quarantine and lockdown measures, and whether the national and local governments cooperate well, and if a nation has good monitoring and detection and a strong medical system. Another factor is how vulnerable a country is to economic dislocation due to COVID-19, plus how well-equipped a country is to handle emergencies. The ultimate aim of the framework is to analyze and score different regions according to their overall level of stability, both in terms of optimizing current health and wellness outcomes of their population amid a COVID-19 pandemic, as well as their prospects and likelihood of enabling geopolitical stabilization and economic recovery in the post-pandemic era. For complete details of the report, visit Deep Knowledge Group's website at www.dkv.global. We will also link the full report on the description below. That's it for today. If you liked today's video or learned anything new, press the like button. Subscribe and ring the bell to get the latest news from The Daily Watch. See you next time!